Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the man? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are returning. My name is Morgan and in today's video we are doing a super fun and satisfying birthday decorating slash cleanup. So we are going to be decorating for my son's third birthday party and then we are also going to be tackling the aftermath of it all in this video. So if you guys are ready to see some cute birthday decorations and see some super satisfying after party cleanup, make sure that you guys stick around to the end. I am also popping balloons in today's video. I know I got a few comments on my last two birthday party, uh, like after party cleanup videos that I didn't pop the balloons on the video. So I popped the balloons on the video this time. So if that's something that you enjoy watching, um, make sure you stick around because I made sure to add that in this time. So if you are curious, my son's birthday theme is calling all units. So um, that's just what I'm calling it because I didn't really know what else it would be called. So I am curious down below if you guys let your kids pick like the birthday theme or if you pick it for them. I know it kind of just depends on like the age and everything, but my son was turning three. And so pretty much what I do is we just go into like Party City and how they have kind of that whole aisle of just different birthday themes. And I pretty much just wait to see which one catches his attention, makes him excited. So I just kind of let him pick. So, and he really wanted the fire truck theme. So Go ahead and let me know down below as well what has been your favorite birthday theme that you've ever done for your kiddos. Um, it may help give other people ideas, but also I'm just curious. I love doing birthday parties for my kids. I think it's so fun. So um, go ahead and let me know down below. <laughs> My kiddos absolutely loved helping to blow up the balloons and they had so much fun playing with them. Um, something that we always do 
when we're decorating like the night before for a party is we normally just let our kids play with the balloons now however my youngest started popping them with her teeth which i've never had a child do that so i was like yeah that's not very safe for one but also like i'm not going to be able to make the garland or balloon arch whatever you want to call it um if they're all popped so i just decided to put this together i was planning on just doing it in the morning but um because of that whole situation i pretty much just decided to put it together and i absolutely love doing balloon garlands they add so much to a party they're so pretty to look at and kids are uh, my kids i should say love helping me make them so they had a fun time bringing me the different balloons. I pretty much just like call for a specific color and they bring it to me. Um, so it just kind of makes it a little game and helps them be involved. Also, if you are curious, I did get all of the birthday decorations from Party City. There were a few things that I got from Walmart, like the party bags. Uh, but majority of the actual decorations and this balloon garland all came from Party City. So after those few clips of what everything looked like, you guys are seeing the aftermath of the party. So this is going to be the part where you guys are going to be getting all of the cleaning motivation. And hopefully you guys will find this super motivating. So go ahead and let me know down below if you find these after party cleanups super motivating and satisfying to watch. We are going to hop right into this. My house was destroyed but it makes for a really good video so i'm definitely excited to tackle this with you guys and let's just get right into it So the hardest part by far was just picking up all the little trash pieces and getting all the toys and stuff organized. Besides that, really it's not too bad, but I know if you have to clean up after a party, um, it can be really overwhelming, honestly. So um, just take it one thing at a time. I just like to start with one room. So I finished off the living room and now I'm kind of working on this little section here. And then I did just decide to um, pop all of these balloons so I could get this um, balloon garland out of the way 
So you guys are going to see me pop all of the balloons and I'm going to have the sound on for this part because I thought it would probably be more satisfying. Is why I definitely recommend doing a like tablecloth and just roll that sucker up I pretty much just had to remove anything off the table that's not going that doesn't need to be like thrown away and then everything else just got rolled up and tossed in the trash and it just makes cleanup super easy I've been dreaming all night bringing me some inspiration never meant to love no one but baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever Brightening up my days Never meant to fall so hard What do you guys normally do with your birthday decorations? It always feels so wasteful to buy these decorations because you're typically putting a decent amount of money towards them and then like only use them for a few hours and then they're like perfect still obviously. You know, there's like no reason to really throw them away but um, so I set them aside in a pile because I was kind of debating on either keeping them or just like donating them or seeing if anyone around me, friends or family who um, would need them anytime soon, but um, my kids ended up getting to them and destroying each and every one. So um, that kind of just reminded me of why I typically like to just throw it all away. But because I do feel like anytime I try to save it and put it aside, it always gets picked up by my kids at some point and they'll start you know, destroying it. So, anyways, let me know down below what you guys like to do with your birthday decorations, though. Um, next time I'm gonna make sure I put it somewhere where my kids can't get it and I'm probably just gonna drop them off at Goodwill I don't know I just I don't really know what you're supposed to do with your birthday decorations <laughs> we've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going no control you push me then you pull me back in 
Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah,、oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it 'cause I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign, give me a sign, ah,、oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign. Talking to you, here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me a sign. I just wanna let you know I could go for this. No more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too. When the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be with, that I should be. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. So now I'm just going to be getting started on these dishes. There aren't very many, so we get through them really quick.、Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much just going to be washing these, and I am using the Mrs. Meyers dish soap in the Snowdrop scent. If you have watched previous videos, you know that's what I have been using through the holiday season. I guess while I'm on that note, I hope everyone has a happy New Year's. Um, I'm not exactly sure when this is going to be coming out, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be my last video of 2021. So I just hope that everyone has an amazing year, has had an amazing year, and has an amazing New Year. And I just hope that the New Year just brings lots of blessings to each and every one of you. I am so grateful and thankful for how far my channel has gotten since I started. I am just so excited for all the little things I have planned for this channel. Over the next year, and I have just a lot of things in the works, and I hope that you guys,、um, if you are watching this video and if you're new, I hope that you choose to stick around. And if you are a regular here on my channel, I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. I do, and I hope that you guys choose to、um, stick around through this new year and see all the things that I have in store for videos and for my subscribers. Getting very close to the end of the video, you guys are just going to see me vacuum up the floors, and then I just show my husband taking out all of the trash, and then that is the end of the video. You guys will just see after shots of how everything turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember that if you do enjoy my videos, it helps me out a ton if you guys give it a thumbs up. 
and always double check that you're subscribed even if you've done it before because YouTube does like to take away subscriptions. So double check your subscribe and if you're new to my channel, of course, I would absolutely love for you guys to join my YouTube family and so I will just talk to you guys in the next one. Keep on running, grab the fun and live in life